Welcome back everyone to the Stimpix Gaming Syndicate. I'm your host, Stimpix. Today we're going to play some more Hearts of Iron 4, but we're going to be playing with the, uh, oh, what is this mod? The Road to 56 mod. So it's a little more, uh, normalized. Just that you're going to have a lot more technology and a lot more other little things here and there. Little tidbits, uh, some expanded tech trees for not tech trees, well, tech trees as well, but also an expanded uh, faction tree, which does look good. Well, I'm kind of debating on who I should play, actually. Um, I do like playing as the Soviets and turning everything red through glorious conquest. I was also considering Japan, uh, but then I started thinking about that and I went, do I really want to play as Japan? And I kind of do, but I kind of don't. I'd rather actually conquer Japan with somebody else, like the Soviets, and kind of go from there. Um, but you know, that's that might be what we do. Might not be a bad idea. If I can conquer Japan early on, maybe pair drop over or something like that. I always have this idea of pair dropping over. Like in 1937, or something like that, really early in the game. Uh, and taking over Japan. You should play the Red World mod if you want some insanity. What was the word Red World mod again? Was that the Soviet one, or...? Oh, no. I'm actually gonna just look it up. Let me just open up Steam. Take a look at the Red World mod. So I remember you told me about that one. Red World Mod. I don't have to put mod in it. Red World. Red World. Oh, it's like a modern day mod. Oh, Red Flood. Red Flood, okay. Red World was like a modern day type of style. Red Flood. Alright, changes a bunch of your names. Uh, the Great War rent an entire generation of boys as young as seven faced the wrecking and led to fields of no man's lands. And for what? For peace that was never realized. Those who were left turned away from the home hopeless present towards something far greater. In the Wish Isles, they turned to what they had. In the German heartland, they turned to what they could have. What they could have? Huh. And in the French cities, they turned to what they could only dream of having. Red Flood is what the developers uh, noted 10 lines of crack and decided to make a what if mod. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Red Flood is an alternative history that looks at the world where post war peace was never reality. Leading to a scenario in which centuries old balance of power had been destroyed, and those left in its rumble must decide to rebuild what they once had or race on to a better future. Vast and insane world of Red Flood will allow you to explore the futuristic seat in France, Marxist Revolution in Germany, struggle in Empire of Britain, and much more. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna download it. Just take a look. Just to take a look at it. You can reform Egypt as Finland. Jesus. Uh, a painter in France can abolish reality. Nice. Yeah, these trees look a little bit small though. I'm assuming some of the nations have really big trees and some don't. Team's first war conflict. Brazilian shogunate. Italian shogunate. <laughs> why? Oh, I say why not. It's fair. Uh, unique focus trees for Italy, Armenia, uh, Belarus, Ukraine, Poland, uh, some other place, UK, France, Germany, Italy, Flume. I don't know what the hell Flume is. Uh, Austria, Madagascar, Japan. 
uh, someone else, some imperial authority, some Russia, Britain, USA, Brazil, Monte something. Uh, and a whole bunch of other places. Hey, you know what? I want to play something new. Let's download that. Oh, why is it downloading so slow? Ah, the download shall go very slow for some reason. I don't know why it's actually going so slow. I'm just going to leave the game open so you can listen to the cool music that is Fights of Iron 4 while we download this new mod. And then have to reload everything. So that's how I roll. I'm going to rename this to... Red Flood Mod. Update. There we go. We updated the title. So that's what we're going to play. Alright, I'm going to have to close this now. So that it actually install. South Eastern Union can reform Scythia. Scythia? Really? I don't know about that. Alright, it's installing. Install faster. I'm sure installing faster. How long could you take to install? Oh, it's installed. Play. Montenegro, Rome. I need say no more. <laughs> uh, why is the loader taking so long to load? There we go. It's taking a really long time to load this. Just a loader. I need the game. Play sets. Let's add here. Get rid of that. Turn on that. Oh, what the? Hold on, go back to that playlist. So I downloaded it as less than 600 megabytes, and now it's apparently 1.16 or 8 gigabytes. That's different. That's a big unloader. Basically unzipped itself to be twice the size. I like it. Starting engines. A kiss is the beginning of cannibalism. George Bataline. Oh, this is gonna be a weird mod. This is gonna be like swimming, stoning lines of crack. <laughs> the big untrue, it says France. I don't recommend it because you can't get jack shit equipment because you burn everything down. Oh, that's really bad. Jared says France with no equipment. So basically, they're Gauls. I fucking hate Gauls. It's the weirdest mod for Hearts of Iron 4. It definitely looks like it already. French Revolution is nothing but a precursor to another revolution. One that would be greater, more solemn, and which would be. Oh, I didn't touch it. Truth and mercy are no longer missable, henceforth. There can only be truth and mercilessness. Merciless hardness. Roman von Hugen Steinberg. Not even Equestria at war is this weird. Oh, that's good to know. Anyway, right, Equestria wasn't weird, it was just a little pony. Old. But it wasn't weird. It was just not hearts of iron. It's still kind of hearts of iron. Most regular nations in this game is the UK and Italy. Shall see. Why is there two different ones? Um, rise and flood. The world has decreased or descended further into darkness. Ever since the end of the Great War, with the collapse of the Western Front, the Russians were war and the revolutionaries that disrupt most of Europe is radicalism. It seems as the idea of liberalism fought so dearly for... I'm gonna have to turn down the music. 
feel like it's a little bit loud. Oh, it actually isn't that loud. Right, where was I? Uh, little world in the face of the futurists and the councilists. Europe, and indeed the world, a standard of fragile balance. It may tip the slightest provocation. Uh, and what is this one? Ever since the demise of the KMT alliance. So is this kind of like... Uh, chaos, warlords, battle on the set controller in China. Okay, so this is like Europe and this is Asia. Here's what I'm guessing. So if I go back over here, it's gonna give me a bunch of Asian options. Yeah, it just gives me a bunch of Asian options. Okay, that makes sense. So it really doesn't matter which one I pick. Let's put it in the countries either way. So we got German Socialist Republic. It's anarchy. Uh, we got the French anarchists. United uh, Kingdom is, uh, I don't know, conservative actually. Russia is all kind of split up actually. Russia is very split up. Oh, even Serbia is all kinds of split up. So if I wanted to play as Russia, I'd have to conquer a lot of stuff. To reclaim a lot of stuff. SGOR. <laughs> China's all broken up, Japan, Korean government, and the Imperial Japan outfit. Oh, how bad is America? Oh, the United States of America is actually still big. Russian puppets are fun to play as. Oh, so they are all puppets then of Russia, I take it. That makes sense. Uh, surprisingly, Dominion of Canada. To do some dumb shit. Uh, and I don't like. The United States is still existing. Somehow. I thought this would have, like, fallen apart or something. Everybody else fell apart. Kingdom of Italy. Wow. Nice little strip of land in the middle of Africa for some, some reason. That's interesting. You break apart after Russia goes into civil war. Oh no, Russia goes into another civil war? I mean, the empire's already broken up as it is. You know, maybe we'll play as Russia. Is uh, Germany the only socialists? Prussia, Congo. This pressure can't go. Am I looking in the wrong place? Isn't the Congo over here? Congo Republic? Oh, pressure can't go right there. Yeah. It's a pressure can't go. Hmm. Thinking of playing as the uh, Communist here. Communist Germany. Hungary is socialist as well. Oh, yeah, there they are. Hungarian Soviet Republic. Why are they a Soviet Republic and Germany is a Socialist Republic? Oh, Danish Socialist Republic as well. Oh, and uh, North Atlantic People's Councils. Interesting, which does not include Iceland. Iceland apparently has Greenland. Yeah, I feel like North America is the most stable looking thing. Even South America looks the same. Africa is kind of a mess. Kivu. Interesting. Uh, in, the, uh, in China, a big giant mess it is. Even Australia. And <laughs> Westralia. <laughs> I love the name. Westralia. I've never heard that before. That's great. I like that. Australia and Westralia. Oh, Douglas MacArthur means the Philippines. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nifty? Okay, well, Japan is nice and strong. Hmm.
I'm strongly thinking of doing it in Germany or Russia. Let's just take a look at them. Let's just see what kind of trees we got in these two. Czechoslovakian kingdom. We we'll conquered them. Welcome to the Red Flood. Hope you enjoy the mod. Thanks. I think I I think I I don't know if I'm gonna enjoy this. Dense urban region. Southeastern European oh yearning. What's Red Flood about? It's about craziness, apparently. Is what I've been told. Anarchy and craziness is absolutely what I've been told it's about. Let's look. Oh my god. Holy Jesus. <laughs> That's a big tree. That's a big giant tree. Alright, so that's Germany. What's uh, what's Russia's tree look like? Does Russia have a big giant tree as well? Actually, Russia has a small tree. Uh, let's not play as Russia because that is a tiny little tree. So yeah, I made the right choice. Germany it is. Cause oh boy, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff to get through. Uh, over here you got some infrastructure stuff, it looks like. No Philantics People Council, interesting. The lore behind Red Flood is that uh, the war, first war never really ended. It lasted for an entire generation and then, you know, shit happens. Oh, Russia gets a bigger focus tree after the Civil War. Ah, that explains it. Uh, a bunch of naval stuff there. More naval stuff, aircraft carrier, aircraft stuff. Uh, what is this? Armor division stuff. Good. Some fortifications. This looks like some repair and resistance stuff. Oh, research tree. Oh, research slot right there. Uh, it has completed focus for the 1936. Likes something or other. Where is that? I guess that's something that hasn't popped up yet. Oh, it's this thing. Russia always wins the Civil War. Do they? Electronics, research speed, more research. Uh, some resources here. Russia's opponent is the puppet in Ukraine. And they gain land before civil war. Oh god. Doesn't sound very balanced. Uh, socialist market. Some more industry stuff. Good choice there. We got propaganda, discuss the Bavarian question. Some socialist democrat stuff. Some more socialist stuff. Southeastern Union focuses. Who is the Southeastern Union? Oh no, I'm gonna finish my looking at these things first. I don't wanna quickly go through it. I can spend a ton of time, but I don't wanna, you know, go through one thing at a time. Oh, a bunch of other stuff. Interesting. Get to uh, a bunch of political stuff. Actually, these aren't very good. There's not a lot of cool things on here. Just a lot of you know, tidbits here and there. Mountain and Jesus. Are you kidding me? Uh, there's all this. Oh, revolution of peace. Peace through unity. Peace through coalition. 
So that's a bunch of like guaranteeing independence, but I don't want to do that. Uh, Northern Brethren. That's like the third international faction. Joining League of Nations groups. This is Spread the Revolution. Lenin. Ooh. Huh. I guess this is all about pushing our stuff around the world. The IRA. Yes. Mission to India, Congo. This is all about like spreading Soviet stuff. I want to spread Soviet stuff. I want to conquer everything and force the people to become Soviet stuff. And Germanism. I mean, well, it's a bunch of conquest stuff. Kind of Italy. Oh, that is a lot of conquest of stuff. Uh, Franco gets. Okay, let's see. Southeastern Union. Where's the Southeastern Union? There it is. Uh, not bad. Big giant industrial stuff. Special forces. Now what's all this? This is a whole conversion. Ooh. Total state control. Nice. Agony. What is all this junk? Oh god. It's like bringing death to the world. Rebirth of Great Scythia. <laughs> uh, next against the General Steps. What's your next goals? <laughs> Should not exist. I like the name. End Mongolian Treachery. Good times. Legal immigration. Okay, that's an interesting tree. A curiosity. Russia has a bunch of stuff, but it gets better after the Civil War. That's good to know. Oh, that's a bunch of conquest. They're all puppets, I take it. Hmm. Uh, Franco gets a face paint. Oh, Franco gets a lot of stuff. A lot of little nifty things for France, Spain. Can never escape a civil war, of course not. Oh, that's definitely a civil war early on in the game waiting to happen for them. Yeah, out of curiosity. Oh, you said Britain was kind of normal. Oh, Britain was kind of big. I get. Let's throw the cradle. Hmm. Where is Germany or is Russia? Oh, Russia's already got some puppets. Spain has a generic focus? Oh, of course. It's too soon for them to have anything cool. Uh, subjects. Oh, so we have actually the Danes. And, uh, this, what was that, Hungarian State Republic? No, it's not. We have, uh, Luxembourg and the Danish as my puppets. He is just some sort of ally that I don't really want. Third International. Hmm. How do I get you? How do I kick you out? Can I kick you out? My thing? Probably not. Oh, there's even more in here. Hold up. I only have two puppets. Hungarian, Brazil. Brazil is allied with me? Wow. Oh, and Cuba. Oh, isn't that nice? Brazil and Cuba are allied with us. You know, I'm kind of thinking the Russian Empire. Oh, let's go back to the main menu. Let's go play as the Russian Empire. France, Germany, one of Russia's puppets. I don't really want to do a puppet of Russia. I'd rather play as a shot. 
opening is Russia and conquer the world. We take Japan. And the United Kingdom is my puppets. Even Italy has a nice fleet, actually. Oh, and France will have a nice fleet. Hello, Germany. The thing of Germany is I could easily take Italy, France, and the United Kingdom as puppets early on. But getting Japan would take a long time. Whereas Russia, I think it would be a little bit easier. But I still have to go through all these people. Russia is going to be a lot of war. It takes a while before you can expand as Russia. I mean, that was kind of what I was worried about. Maybe the German Soviets are just the best choice. Abolishment of the French army? Wait a Abolishment of the French army? Oh, I'm definitely gonna have to call the fans. Kingdom, it's part of the nation as well. Hmm. Tough choices. Memory of the trenches. As puppets of Russia. Can I take over Russia? As a puppet of Russia? Oh, the Civil War is in 1936, though. Oh, if the Civil War is going off the bat early on, you know what? I'll just play as Russia. I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. You never know. I'll just give it a shot. We'll go with it. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of stuff. Oh, a lot of stuff. National focus is on nothing apparently. I can't focus on anything. So I just have to hold off on that for a few minutes until the game actually starts. Uh, research slot. Let's get some weapons. Oh, I never bothered looking at these tech trees. It only gets up to 46. There's nothing really special for any of these. Let's get the um Put your troops in Moscow. Who gets Moscow? It's awful. You have to feel Moscow. In this mod, manpower isn't that common. Yeah, I can't imagine that if, you know, a whole generation of people died during the war, manpower would not be, uh, something you have a lot of. Ah! I misclicked. I don't have everybody in that? Yes, I do. I'm not a fan of these things. <laughs> the coloring of all this. Not a fan of that at all. Alright, let's garrison the Moscow region and just the areas around Moscow. That should help a little bit. And then we're going to split you into a couple, a couple different armies. Where's that split button? There it is. Alright, let's split again. We'll split you again. Everybody join this army. I hate the no general portrait, it's really bad. I can't remove anybody either. <laughs> Alright, you're gonna be in charge of that. You'll be in charge of that. You'll be in charge of that. And you can have 
Uh, let's go with that. I want to promote that guy. Make him my leader. Alright, military factories. Since we're going to go to war right away. Let's get a lot of guns. To more fighters and to more bomber. This here is very unfinished. Uh, I need... Let's go with another spell. Post the annexation release events. Can't really wait for that. I don't think I'm supposed to have that yet. Uh, intelligence agency. So this is new to me. Because I just got this mod. Oh, I just got the, um... The, the La Resistance DLC. Create agency. Well, I guess I can't really do anything with this right now. Let me switch for any finished diplomacy and mech. Uh, trade, map, construction, let's get, hmm, just basic things, eh? Alright, well, get some military factories in and around the capital. Infrastructure is actually no gap. Construction, production, uh, recruit. A big infantry unit. It's also a big infantry unit. And that's a big infantry unit. But they're all kind of the same infantry unit. They're literally just the one extra line. Which, yeah, the first and third are exactly the same. That is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, well, we're going to train you, so that's apparently the garrison. Goodbye. Why mix? Why do this to me? Ha! Ah, screw it. Get it anyways. I'll oh, build in Moscow. Reinforcement set to the priority. No manpower, insufficient resources, of course. Missing production equipment are motorized. Oh. Yeah, that might be something that helps. Sorry. <laughs> My god, that might be something we need. Um, let's reduce him. Reduce him. Yep, yeah, reduce the fighter as well. Speaking of planes, set the limit to 200 for each of those. Hmm. Alright, well, what can possibly go wrong? Oh, I can set a focus. Well, there you go. Maybe let's reset that. Aftermath of the November strike. Member strike, the workers, councils, and many large cities coordinated to bring our modernization of industry to a halt. Police responded too quickly, allowing many of the strike organizers to flee and force a response from the Derma. While the strikes have settled since then, it never truly ended as workers and police chase crews, crews, and then chase each other in the streets. Uh, Supreme Leader demands an answer to the tension. The Supreme Leader? Is that him? Or is that me? Who is the Supreme Leader? <laughs> Alright, of course we have subjects. I like that. I like having subjects. They all seem like good folk. Good clean folk. Moscow has got some good divisions there, it's good to see. Hmm. Interesting. November strike. Legacy of the November strikes. Since those disastrous strikes that were called by the workers' councils last November, 
There's been an uneasy tension between a legitimate government and the downtrodden workers. The strikes were, of course, broken by brave police forces, and many of the wing leaders arrested for illegal, illegal striking. Uh, but the supreme leader has taken a personal interest in this affair, declaring that the schism between the government and the workers must be mended by any means necessary. Two proposals were put forward uh, by the council. One, which suggested we complete the crackdowns uh, we should have done in November with arresting more of the organized workers, while another suggests releasing the less volatile leaders and allowing the workers' councils to be formed, be it under state supervision. Uh, a lot of puppets break away from you after the Civil War. Some would stay loyal, though, and stay puppeted. Oh, that's good to know. Well, either way, I'm going to conquer them all. Even the puppets will eventually have to be annexed back in to our glorious nation. We're going to become another Germany. Uh, finish off the Workers' Council. Or heavy-handed response will only aggravate the situation. Allow some councils. Hmm. That's a bunch of daily support for all of the socialists. Basically. Interesting. So we don't want to be socialist. We want to be... What do we want to go with? White wing authoritarian. Hmm. Oh, this is interesting. What do I want to go with? I kind of want to go with despot. See reactionary, accelerantists. Hmm. Kind of thinking despotic. Anyway, let's uh, let's cut these people. Cut them deep. All right, and then we have a dismiss whoever this is. Is there really nothing else we can be working on? I have to work on these things. It's unfortunate. All right, whatever General Nekovitz's credentials, his overt anti-Semitism, and collaboration with the more extreme faction of Block Hundreds. Oh, black hundreds is unacceptable of the state army officer. Supreme Leader Kolach has demanded his resignation despite the protest from the army. We see Novelach as one of their own. Hmm, political power goes up, stability goes down. Okay. That's cool. That's fine. Whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Outdated production. What am I producing that's outdated? Why am I producing outdated things? And why is my game frozen? Hmm. Okay, yeah, there we go. Alright, something is out of date. And I'm producing. Oh, it's this thing. Hmm. Alright, well, it's almost done. Just need somebody to work on it. That's fine. Decisions, post annexation, releasing event. What is this for? Post annexation release events um, have been tediously added to Red Flood, unfortunately, due to the sheer number of counties and their related release events. Many bugs are bound to surface. Oh, leave them turned off. I know what that is. That's when you annex somebody and then you have a little event that pops up. Yeah, need that off. And low manpower. Yay, low manpower. Manpower. It's what we don't have. Yeah, we did this to that guy. National focus. Ooh, hello. Uh, subsidize black hundredists parties, which gives us uh, more right wings and despotism. Get the Republican investigation, interesting. And this one is change in the negative of those people. Don't really care about. Let's do this investigation.
Collaborator is not of my territory, no. Hmm. What are no subversion in the area? I don't have enough factories apparently to do that thing. Doesn't really make sense, but okay. Oh, I literally don't have enough sibling factories to do anything. They're all working on consumer goods. That's horrendous. That's awful. Nothing could possibly be worse than that. Let's speed this game up. Like, let's go. Stay in the first month, basically. Who goes to take Madagascar? Tragic. I will say this is very laggy mod compared to the last one. Last one I uh, put some stuff in the raid. To limit troops. Uh, despite a thorough investigation by the expert or experienced secret police, there's a letter of substance connection connecting the Republican elements of the various parties of his more socialist strikers. Uh, the few connections were little more than individual liberal politicians speaking out against police brutality or declaring that the dialogue must be opened with the strikers. It was certainly treasonous and anti-Russian behavior. Punishing them won't totally end the Republican movement in Russia. Hmm, we can find some evidence. Hmm. I'll up some liberals or find some evidence. Let's go find some evidence of their crimes, those liberal bastards. Surely are up to something up to no good. <laughs> do you need all three of these? I do need all three of these. Okay, do this one first. Anti-socialist campaign, no that matters. Why is the um this guy not being Dismantled as much. Revolutionary anarchists. Okay, that gives them a problem. So many puppets. Is this a puppet of mine? No, it's not. It's a puppet of Japan. How dare Japan progress into our lands? Actually, it's not a puppet of Japan. It's just empty land. Remnants of the Pacific Fleet. Okay, interesting. Your colony of Russia. That's good to know. And everybody else. It's okay. It's a lot of people we're gonna have to fight off. This guy's become a socialist republic. Ugh. Awful. Just garbage. Modify government. Oh, we can change one of my ministers. Yeah, let's do that later, maybe. Let's get this one going. Foreign minister, economic minister. Not bad, not bad. Minister of Interior. It's out. Resistance, of course, and stability. Can't get most of you guys. Kudu population minus 2%. That's oh, not good. That's not a good thing right now. That's a very bad thing. Kind of intel is not much better either. Hmm. Economy, this infrastructure, construction speed. Uh, daily political gain. Construction speed might not be a bad thing if only I can do some construction. In general, it would be a good thing. Monthly opinion. Monthly opinion. Hmm. Can we change any of these? You know what? Let's save up for the, one of these. 
Even this would be better. Treaty of Tokyo, the Beijing Compromise. Interesting. What did Tokyo do? Ooh. Ooh. Subsidize those people. Revolutionary Japan declared war in Japan. It's a revolution, baby. It's a communist revolution. In Japan. Of all places. Who would have thunk? Alright, national focus. Last session of the VIII 13th. State Duma. Okay, let's get that done. Civil War breaks out in the East. Will there be anything left of the Empire? Probably not. Uh, Austria Reich declared war on the Austrian revolt. Interesting. And somebody else is, uh, Sony in China just went to war. They were at war. Hmm. Well, it's a shame the Civil War is going so quickly. Uh, wow. Korean People's Republic declared war in the Kingdom of Korea. And, uh, the Korean government also is in a big giant war, that's interesting. So there's like three different factions there. Japan is supposed to be two different factions, but one is clearly winning. I did some research. Excellent. Let's get those paratroopers, maybe? Maybe not. I'm gonna get the logistics in. Yeah, those uh, reactionaries are really... I mean, the commies are really taking over. These civil wars really go fast. Uh, they're a little bit broken. Civil war is definitely a little bit broken. Because I like all three of them. Austria's already done. This one's pretty much done. This one's, yeah, pretty much done as well. Traitors deserve death, of course. Almost done here. It is almost done. Last session of the 13th. Let's go with the naval exercises in the Mediterranean. Why are we doing naval exercises in the Mediterranean? Do we even... Like, we don't have anything in the Mediterranean. Usually the Empire of Japan wins in your games. I mean, he was getting his ass kicked, and then he started winning down here. I don't know what the hell happened. Maybe it's a lack of resources or something. The Japanese Navy is just starving them out, or... That's gotta be it. That's probably what it is. The Japanese Navy is actually starving out these footholds. Although... Not looking good. Uh, summer vacation. Isn't that nice? Summer vacation. Ooh, I no longer suffer the effects of some bad thing that happened. Yeah, like he just killed troops there. I don't know, maybe with Japan. I think it's the Navy. They're able to keep these spots open with um, with supplies, whereas the revolutionaries can't get supplies through. I didn't think that's what it is. It's a supply issue. It's the only explanation for why they're able to just push so easily even though they were losing so badly before. And now they're able to push. 
It's because these guys all have no supplies. And the Japanese troops do. Summer vacation. That's like a dream. Stabilizing political system. Okay. Planning a vacation. Finally, I have finished my most of my business at hand. I have plenty of time to enjoy a vacation. I shall go to one of my properties away from Petrograd to relax myself from the cutthroat politics and gloomy weather there. Here. Uh, there are several relaxing places I can visit on my vacation. All of them are different compared to Petrograd, but a somewhat closer destination might mean a safer journey, perhaps. I should go to Yaltala to enjoy my sunshine. Very good. Very good. Good choice. We're totally gonna get assassinated. <laughs> Hopefully nothing bad happens on a summer vacation. Oh, there's a whole event series of it. God. Uh, fateful day in Yalta. Oops, pause. This vacation was everything Polchak needed at its end. Aggravated him. He was fishing along the Black Sea, relaxing and nearly falling asleep to the sound of waves crashing against the rocks. Then, in a flash, a squad of lawyer army officers grabbed him and rushed him to the car. They had explained that they believed that Jotsky was attempting to assassinate him, and they had proof that anti-Kolchak agents disguised as anarchists have already raided his vacation home in an attempt to find him. Kolchak sighed, realizing that his short-lived vacation was now over. As they drove through the streets of Yalta, desperately trying to reach the evacuation point at the airport, the driver realized they were being followed. As if on cue, shots rang from the car, following the car, from the following car, Jesus. And the driver put the pedal to the floor and began to swerve. Loyalist officers in the back ordered Kolchak to get down as they swung out pistols of their own and fired back. The friendly police cars uh, started to attempt to intercept the assaulting vehicles. Trotsky's assassins swerved off and for a moment it looked like they were gone. They arrived at the airport. Kolchak and his man ran to the airport, parked on the tarmac out of nowhere. The car from before burst through the gates. And the driver quickly pulled out his gun and opened fire on Kolchak. As the bullets assaulted towards him, sailed towards him, one thought crossed Kolchak's mind. Uh, Good night, Rodia. The heavens have called me up to sleep. Jinzi dies. I shall not die yet. Russia needs me. Interesting. Interesting. We could die or we could not die. How good is this guy? He doesn't actually give us any bonuses. And presumably there's nothing good anywhere here. You know what? I should not die. I should need to. Uh, and his Kolchak exposes Trotsky. People of Russia, so far and wise in your hand, habits and traditions of God. Uh, let me ask you, what is worse than a mere enemy? Kolchak asked over the radio. He had miraculously survived the assassination attempt a day ago, thanks to the sacrifice of his squad's leading officer. He jumped in the way of bullets to save him. What's worse is a traitor. A backstabbing snake in the grass. Good for nothing traitor. And I know of one in our ranks. Mikhail Trotsky. Further alleged that Trotsky has disguised his men as anarchists in order to divert the blame. And was attempting to take himself supreme leader of Russia. Or make himself, I should say. Trotsky has challenged these claims. And has further asserted that Kolchak had hired anarchist partisans in an attempt to eliminate him. In response to all this, the military split right down the middle on who to support. The Navy had always been pro Kolchak stronghold, as he had been a naval officer and had invested heavily in upgrading the Navy. The Army, on the other hand, 
strongly in favor of Trotsky, and many generals believe that sucking up to him will, better, will be better for getting spending for the long run. These divisions are going to be influencing our politics for years to come. It seems. Christ in heaven, can't we have a peaceful day for once? And uh, yeah, it looks like a civil war is coming. Civil war is brewing. Or somebody gained claims on stuff. I don't see where. Hmm. Right, unassigned divisions. Oh, we have unassigned divisions. Uh, okay, this is really hard to like see what's what. Okay, so my empire's here and he's there. So putting my stuff in Moscow was not actually a good idea. Because <laughs> now they have foreign claim. Or oh, they're actually trying to retreat out of there. That's awful. All of you guys to do fall there. You guys go there. I don't want you guys going so damn far. Like why? Why do you need to go so far? It's a really easy win. Yeah, if you have your stuff nearby, it will be. Actually. Instead of being there you go. Works a little bit better. Except for this. I don't need that. There we go, that should work. Now, I do remember I need a leader. I was gonna promote this guy. Because he looks cool and is a brilliant strategist. Congratulations. Vladimir Capel. Capelli. Hopefully he's not a traitor. Alright, the Summer Coop War. The aftermath of the attack and the Supreme Leader Kolchak has left the political climate unbelievably tense. Some groups have formed, claiming their loyalty to either Kolchak's government or Trotsky. And they've already clashed over before over whatever happened to get them upset. But today, it's gone violent. Uh, the Kolchak's critique in Moscow has gotten into a firefight. Firefight. With a pro Trotsky group ending, with the Trotsky storming government buildings and proclaiming the current government illegitimate. Mikhailo has joined these men for claiming himself leader of the new Russia and has organized the army in order to defend the new regime. Uh, Kolchak's supporters, on the other hand, have fled to Kazan and they established a new government in order to hold the ground and eventually take down the traitors. Now the people must choose between the admiral and the general. The fate of Russia is in their hands. Obviously, I am the legitimate person. Uh, Russia declares war on the Novodla Russian General Protector Gross. Out of curiosity, what kind of government does he have? Oh, he's a despot. I like that. I'm also kind of a despot. Uh, let us... Tower of Kolchak. Uh, yeah, let's uh, totally go and do this. And advance immediately towards Russia. Oh, I should probably turn the down the speed a little bit. Now we're at war, low manpower, air rings have no missions. We should probably do something of those. Get the air force in here to deal with these traitorous bastards. more than what we're supposed to have. Oh, no, it's fine. Any other forces that we have? I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Do, do, do. All you need to do is take a decent amount of land and they will surrender. Okay, good to know. It's a matter of actually getting my troops in position. 
attacking. The bear rips itself apart. It's fine. Don't worry about the bear. The bear will be fine. Bear got lots of bear stuff. Oh god. Freezing up a little bit there. And I take it everybody else has separated from us. Oh, General Governor of the Steeps have stayed with us. And everybody else has gone and left off. I think. Grand Duchy of Finland is our puppet. Oh. These guys were my puppet? I didn't even realize those guys were my puppets. Well, that's nice. Yeah, my troops are having a tough time with this. Just getting into position. <laughs> yeah, that actually was not a very good tactical move. Because <laughs> all it left meant was all my troops had no... Uh, had no morale. No organization, and they had to flee, and then they got left up. You go there. Oh, we got more troops here. Let's make them part of force. Do I have any other troops sitting around doing nothing? Hopefully not. Put you guys here and there. At least we do outnumber them. Not so much down here, but up here we do. Doing good up here. Oh, stuck to focus. Hey, hello. That would be a smart idea, wouldn't it? Uh, and this is the new Russian tree, which is really not that much. Can't pick that. Can't pick that. Can't do anything there. Can't do anything over here. Well, this is a useless tree. subjects that would be a good thing if it looked like it worked I don't know if it's gonna work more than zero subject nations okay well apparently that doesn't work uh, air production of construction army division training time don't really need it free repair you don't meet the requirements so I need more focuses unlocked of course to Moscow. Keep pushing. There we go. Moscow. Back into our control a little bit. Sort of. What is this? Modified government? Ooh. I don't have enough for this. I need more more modification of the government stuff. Why are you losing control of that? Do not lose control over stuff. Do not leave openings. It is dumb. It's not good for my health. Or for yours. Traitors will be shot. Reasonable budget. You go here and then cut through there. And then we have. There we go. Really? This is not looking good. Ugh. 
Shouldn't be pushing, should be attacking this. How's my Air Force looking now? At least my Air Force looks good. Is it just me or is this thing gone? Uh, it's gone for some reason. What the fuck? We lost our entire line for no apparent reason. Are they at least in the same positioning? At least they're in the same positioning. Uh, but that's still a very much a what the fuck moment. It happened to you too. Well, that's. That's not good. But I need you to take that. I need you to take this. I okay, seriously need you guys to just destroy these two units. And take this. So at least we can cut off a couple. Just a couple less enemies. That's all I want. A couple enemy divisions destroyed. I don't think it's much. It's asking too much. To surround and cut off somebody somewhere at some point. I think it's fair to ask, actually. One encirclement. It's not a very good encirclement. I suppose one is better than none. They're at least pushing through. You guys are kind of pushing. You guys seem to be getting pushed, but I could just be wrong. No, I am wrong. You guys are doing okay. And these dudes, these dudes don't want to die, apparently. Got them surrounded. Here you are, Japan won the war. Against the uh, other guys. So yeah, it must have been the whole supply. It's a supply issue. That's why they won. Show him already. Got eight divisions surrounding this thing. And he's still alive. Spanish Civil War. Uh, what is this? How do I get rid of this? How do I get rid of this? Oh, there's an X. Jesus. Some of the small man. Japan survives another blow to revolutionaries, which is good, but also bad. But also good. Because then he's not likely to join Germany when I go to conquer him. Yeah, we gotta retake all this junk. Ugh. Come on, stop lagging. There we go. Alright, those two guys are dead at least. Some progress is made, albeit I don't know where I can break through. Not seeing any good breakthrough positions. Oh no, the Finns are in a civil war. My puppet man. I lost my puppet to a civil war. Hmm. It's unfortunate. Where can I break through? There's a bit of a breakthrough that's going to happen there, but it's not going to be much. 
Hmm. Now we're getting close to these rivers. Which is really not good. So once I hit those rivers, I can't get across anywhere. So I might be able to break through here. Got a little tank division there. It's a year ahead. That one works. Decision available. Ooh, what is this? Urge uncorruptive citizens? It's minus a thousand manpower, can't we? Really, I don't think I really need either of these. I don't really need any of that. Oh, actually. What we really need is this. Some manpower. It would also be nice if some of these things would activate. But, c'est la vie. Hopefully that extra percentage of manpower will do something or help us somehow. I doubt it, but wouldn't it be nice? Alright, I need you guys to push the attack. Why would I be losing this fight? There you go. I have no air force down there, do I? Actually, where is my air force? Oh, he's fighting back. Hmm. He is fighting back over there. Let's get some more fighters. Let's see if we can get back some control. We got a little bit of a breakthrough. Much. Again, we just we just don't have enough troops to break through. We have enough to push, but we don't have enough to break. Okay, you three, right there. And one of you goes that direction. Oh, there wasn't three there. There's only two. Oh, that's unfortunate. front a little bit. You go there. Then you cut across through here. Come on, that's an easy encirclement. Have you come over here? One of you actually go there. One break of break through fast. go hold him off just for a couple seconds while we break through here no you stupid poor bastard damn it ah uh, that fucking horse all right well there goes that train there you go go that direction go this direction here I need you to go here. I need you to go there. I need one of you to distract this guy here. Ok, 
come on. Just need a little push. Just a little big push. Do you have another troop? Oh, we do have another troop coming. Okay. Um. Damn it, it's just not enough. Yeah, that one's done. That's lost down there. Is that pink coming over here? That is pink coming over here. Alright, well, thank you, pink, for being useless. Fuck! Stop it! Where did you come from? Where did he even come from? Really need you guys to just break through these two points. There you go, there's one. Oh, damn you. Damn you, retreating. Why do you think it's okay to retreat? It was not okay to retreat there. Get in there and hold it. Hold the line! Hold the door! Hold the door! <laughs> Oh god, hold the door. Come on. Yes! An encirclement. Finally. Now hold that line and don't get encircled yourselves. There we go. A couple enemies destroyed, finally. Just a couple less enemies. Good work. Someone could work. Uh, take him out. He is not. He's not um, in a defensible position. I should say he's not entrenched. He just got there. Which makes him a good easy target. Just need more good easy targets. And if we take that and this, push through. I mean, he won't be cut off until we're taking him, but. Uh, wins American election, a new turn of events for the United States. Oh, stupid United States. Don't you dare become my enemy. I want to find the government again. Oh, I can't, actually. Oh, though. Nope, can't get any of those. Yeah, none of those are available. Uh, foreign minister, I don't really care about. Economy isn't going to help me. Minister of Interior is not going to help me. And well, encryption might help me a little bit, but not much. Research speed decryption. These do kind of help. Encryption and decryption. Research speed would be useful, political power would be useful. Let's go with um, the research speed. Interesting word, research. Implies you're searching for something already done. Come on, guys. Trying to move their books, to exit. There you go. 
Oops. Um, keep pushing through. One of you can stay because you have nothing left. Alright, good job. These two guys can cut through that. I'm going to make some good progress there. Not good progress, but we can kill one more guy. Actually, we can really trip him up if we can get all the way behind his lines there. Uh, but that doesn't look like that's going to happen. Like that. And you will be able to take that with them. That'd be a little interesting twist of events. we can make these lines, the more they're going to trip over themselves. I'm trying to defend pockets. And that would be good. Very good for me. What am I Air Force doing? Uh, not very good, actually. That's okay, we're still in the pockets of the Air Force, so whatever. Fortunately, we're not going to get a kill there, which is kind of what I wanted, but oh well, just can't be choosers. We did break through and gain some territory at least. Wasn't good territory, but we got something. And we do have some manpower now, which is also good. We've been able to kind of get past that initial lack there of manpower and gain some. It's not enough. Oh yeah, it's not enough. Hold that. Hold that little pocket. ground slowly but surely we are getting a little bit of ground. We have a breakthrough there, thankfully. And if you break through that, I'll give you a raise. I will give you a raise in promotion. Oh, my leader. You know what I forgot to do? Let's actually give him some of this stuff. 
Wouldn't it be nice if he had some of this? Uh, offensive doctrine. You know what? Let's make him offensive. Let's see, there's a recovery rate, or we can be have a plus ten percent breakthrough chance to do that. I think I'll leave him for now for the rest of it. Uh, this dude. Do you have anything? No, you do not. You suck. You also have nothing because you suck. You totally have nothing because you suck. And this guy has nothing because he sucks. Bunch of suckage going on around here. Do the grand assault ability. Uh, we need. Oh, I don't have it. Wait a minute. Didn't I get it? No, that doesn't have a grand assault ability, it just gives you an increased chance. Just in general. Unless one of my guys have it. Oh! Uh, forced attack, that's not good. You... Yeah, they all just have forced attack. He doesn't actually have anything. Doesn't have the grand assault ability, unfortunately. Very unfortunate. You're gonna go there, you're gonna go there. I don't know why you guys aren't pushing here. That was a good push right there. Oh, a good breakthrough at least. There you go. Push on in, boys and girls. Oh, you mean the force attack. Force attack's not really good. It's good for offensive breakthrough, but your damage taken. Oh, your strength the damage taken. Actually, it's not going to kill my manpower. Which one needs it the most? You kind of need it. I think you need it the most. Yeah, you need to force attack the most right now. I should increase their speed. There's another ability that you can get that increases your speed. Which is also really good. Alright guys, get in there. Nice little cutoff right there. Finally. It's a small cutoff, but finally we got something. You guys I might get a little cutoff there as well. Hey, you can't attack where I'm... Oh. What a beast. It's not gonna be successful, but what a beast. Attacking us when we're trying to attack him. When he's encircled. What a horrible, horrible person. Don't take him out. There we go. Nice little breakthrough down here. I'll take it. I'll go back to that. And you guys are gonna push straight down, non-stop. Do not cross go. Do not pass. So I do not let's go, do not collect two hundred dollars. You just go go go. And you need to go cut them off. Kill that cavalry unit. There you go. A little cut off. It's not big casualties, but you know what? It certainly hurts them. It stretches their damn lineup. Although that is pretty good casualties, three divisions. That's not bad. Three less divisions from someplace else. I 
want them to be too reckless down here though. Uh, once this guy's gone, stretch him out. Seriously? You guys aren't actually moving in there? <laughs> AI sometimes. Cavalry unit keeps swarming through. Uh, but yeah, very good down here. That was a good. That's a good little push. Overran that enemy unit. That's fantastic. Doesn't always happen. It's kind of rare. I'm gonna take one of their cities. I think you can use force attack ability if you control click when assaulting frontiers. Well, right now I can't because I don't have enough command power, but I have to test it out sometime. I don't know, I'm perfectly content with just pushing the button. <laughs> I don't need a shortcut for that. <laughs> I just push the button. Like a noob that I am. See if we can grab his capital. Arkov. Oh, whoops. Whoops, 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 whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Right, I think I actually need more troops now. Uh, can I deploy anyone? I can deploy one person. It's not really good enough, but... Whatever, let's uh, get them to you. So I think I've stretched their lines so much that now I don't even have enough troops to maintain everything. I think we're starting to have a little maintenance of line issue ourselves. Back there. Silly pony. Oh, we're definitely not going to get to Kharkov. But we did stretch his line quite a bit. Yeah, I think I've stretched these lines too much. I feel like now I'm stuck. And all I can do is just push, because I don't have enough troops to really continue to stretch the lines. On the plus side, we pushed everything out of the way so much so that he's in full retreat almost everywhere. Ooh, artillery. That's good tech. That was good tech right there. I have no tank research. I'm a rusher with no tank research. What the hell is going on? Uh, let's start working on some of these. There you go. Have a little open space. Just gallop right through. And he's leaving me open space over here, but again, I don't have enough troops to actually do anything. This is, uh, not cool, man. Have the manpower. Are we missing weapons? We are missing weapons. Ooh, do you have something new? Infantry expert. There you go. Plus 10% division attack. 
That is something useful. I can attack that. I don't need both of you there. I need one of you to come here. He's gonna go take that. Another big city from us. Another little encirclement. I'll take whatever I can get. In terms of encirclements, I would take whatever we can get. There you go. Take that as well. Let me push on in and kill him. Ooh, Karkov. You there. Oh. Nope, you're gonna try to go down there. I don't like that. You go there. You go take that cup first. Those victory points. We're getting close to the end of this war. It's just a matter of those victory points. Uh, what are we looking at? Sorry, I lost 304,000 troops and they lost 254. I definitely took the uh, <laughs> took more casualties here taking all this stuff, but hey, whatever. We're winning. We almost got them. We took some risks. Got some good rewards. And that's what counts at the end of the day. Maybe we can get another little encirclement there. We got cut off, right? Yes, we did. Good job. You lost 50k. Yeah, I definitely did not have a good time in this war. In terms of casualties. We took a lot. A lot more than I thought we would have. Uh, but that's okay. Because we also killed a lot. We had a gay old time in this war. Everyone had their share of wieners. Nobody was left out. I mean, it's a civil war. It's supposed to be bloody and brutal. Very brutal. I love my boots wars. All my wars should be brutalized. Brutal. enemy troops. Should be able to make another big push down here. Oh, you know what? Uh, I kind of crippled you, didn't I? With this whole doing it that way thing. Here you go. Took me 1936 to defeat the group. Yeah, rub it in. Rub it in. See, my mistake is I use the garrison function. 
So as soon as they broke away, all my troops went into the um, strategic redeployment. And it completely fucked me over. Because as soon as the war started, all my troops were zero organization. So that really fucked me over. Why don't you take Alexandria off? How about that? And take that. Uh, but it looks like now we're starting to get things together. Just a few more strategic locations left. And the AI should surrender to us. Direct fire, where's that? Oh, to the uh, ships. Hmm. Still not crumbling, eh? How much more do they have left? They still have a lot, actually, of victory points left for some stupid reason. Which I do not appreciate. you. Go over this way. Yeah, there you go. Just gotta block that guy right off. And you make your way all the way down there. Oh, I meant uh, to assign you to that. There you go. Where's your little funky lines? Get rid of all these lines. You good, sir. Offensive line. Go straight through here. And your new line can go straight up to there, apparently. Where did he come from? Well, that's really annoying. See, I thought we had this all settled. And that guy shows up. I'm gonna take that victory point and see if that helps. This is getting a little bit ridiculous. I mean, we have almost all of their victory points, and they're still not surrendering. Uh, oh. Okay, they surrendered. Uh, well that's very different form of surrendering than I'm used to. Alright, no national focus, does that mean I can now have a national focus? A hollow victory. Okay, I'll take it either way. I see your hollow victory and I will take it. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do. Everyone, just chill out for a little bit. Let's see if we can restore the bread monopoly, state of emergency. That at least modifies the famine. You know I had a famine. Since when do I have a famine? 
I have a famine, apparently. Alright, well, let's do this first. Let's get rid of these famine issues. Then we're gonna have to look towards some of these other enemies. Ooh, fair free military factories. Red Monopoly! Yeah, we definitely need more guns. Hmm. Industry, not so good. Not looking so hot. Oh! I'm not bringing my civilian economy into something. You Russia, you always have famine. <laughs> Uh, partially true. Very true, actually. Alright, let's get early mobilization. We gotta start fixing this. Getting us away from this whole consumer goods 26 factories. Can't even build factories right now. That's how ridiculous this is. Probably speed up the game as well. Uh, I really need to be looking at what my next move. Where's my next conquest? I hope I don't have to go wait until I get all the way down here to start conquering things. Um, Unified the Empire needs 80 divisions and 1.2 million manpower. Oh, that's awful. It's gonna take a long time. Actually, what are we at right now? Right now we have. Um, in the field, less than, uh, 700,000. So I need another 500,000 troops, basically. Hmm. I need more than 80 divisions. I think I'm pretty close to having more than 80 divisions. That's not a problem. It's going to be the manpower itself. Um, 30, 60, 70... Sorry, 30, 60, 63. So yeah, divisions are not going to be a problem. It's going to be the getting more manpower into the field. Alright, that was done. Uh, modified civil war damage or down the peasant revolts. Hmm. Commission the starving for starving areas. Grant stability. Well, that's like 210 days of something good. That's not enough. Purge the traitors. Not a bad idea. Love of loyalty. Not a bad idea. I think we're gonna focus on our economy first, but I also don't want another civil war. Um, what's the peasant revolts? Revolting peasants is... Yeah, actually... Oh yeah, that is bad. Let's go to that. Let's put down those peasants. Oh, actually, let's provide food. Get cities first. Let's get the factory output going. And we'll start dealing with the damn peasants. Stability in Russia? Never heard of it. It's a new concept. I just invented it. <laughs> uh, oh, look at that. They all just broke up into pieces. That's nice. So, I take it I no longer have any puppets. Yet, yeah, I have no subjects. Of course. It's okay. We will take it all back by force. Everyone shall suffer and die. Russia is the new Third Reich. Well, the Third Rome, really. Low manpower. I don't have low manpower. What's this low manpower button here for? I have 270,000 people. Sitting around doing nothing. Literally doing nothing. I love manpower. <laughs> Don't you 
Finland isn't going down the Egyptian path. I mean, they're still in the Civil War. Yeah, they are still in the Civil War. British Egypt, of course. The United Kingdom actually is pretty strong. I gotta admit, the United Kingdom is actually pretty strong still. I have a ton of puppets. At least Scythia is there. Not for much longer. Uh, United States, United Coalition. Oh, United States is going uh, communist. They don't use the war goals? Well, that's a shame. That's a real shame if the AI doesn't use the war goals that they're given. Provide food for the cities. Let's put down these peasant revolts. Guess we can hopefully are building a little few more resources. Uh, basic machine goods. Uh, let's do the efficiency again. Yeah, it's going to do a civil war eventually. Well, they were a little bit closer actually to that before, but... I don't know... End hunger. Hmm. Oh, they have a big tree as well. That's nice. Oh, they have a decent sized tree. It's not really that big. You are 11 days away, and you are 8 days away. Hmm. What am I looking at? Oh, I'm frozen. That's what I'm looking at. And I'm in the wrong view. Okay, that's better. Delay tactics. Just what we needed to end this war that we were in right now, five minutes ago. It's great technology. All right, that's done. You are up. Oh, out of curiosity. Does this mod let you actually modify these? No, it does not. That's what I like about the Road 64 is it lets you actually modify your guns. I always thought it was nifty. Nifty way to self improve your stuff. Alright, we could do this commission and end the famine. Well, that's actually all really good stuff. I should also do that still. Um, stay the emergency. Although, I should just go down that one tree. Yeah, it's too late. It's too damn late. We'll get there. We'll get it all done eventually. Who's this guy? Oh yeah, I picked that guy. I forgot about that. Oh, it's the intel screen that I keep opening. Oh, that's awful. Construction. Still have all my factories too busy to actually build anything. Which hurts so damn much. Alright, state of emergency done. Back down to socialists. Or purge the traitors. I should do both. Let's do this first. Let's just go down that one tree. Finish that, end the famine, get rid of the civil war damage, and then we'll go on a purge of traitors. Although the civil war damage isn't so bad. The famine is bad though. Minus 30% organization and minus 40% population. Awful. 
It's definitely gotta get rid of. In the Ukraine. Two hundred for twenty days. Oh, okay. Oh, none of you are being built right now. Because you don't have enough equipment everywhere, of course. This damn equipment. This damn guns. We burned through all of our guns during that civil war. It's going to take a long time to rebuild. I guess that. We need the motorized troops, unfortunately. Uh, kind of need the fighters and the bombers and the tanks. Damn it. This gun's hurt. Damn it, stop going into intelligence. I wish I never got that mod. Or that, uh, that DLC. Wait, this. What's I can do there? Let's, uh, work on the industry. Oh, keep clicking on it. Thinking that it's something else. Maybe if you use tactics instead of attacking endlessly, you would have guns. Maybe some tactics. We used some tactics. Every now and then. Mission for the starving people. Let's end this damn famine. End the famine once and for all. You can see the history of the war. Dispersed. I mean, there's gotta be a way that you can see past wars that occurred, right? There's a combat log. The last 12 months, lost 346,000 manpower, won 63% of battles. Yeah. That's great. Damn it! Intelligence, go away. I really wish I never got that DLC. The stupid intelligence agency, the map load sucks, and it just keeps popping up because I keep clicking on it, thinking it's research or something. Can I move it over? No, I can't. End of the famine. Yeah, uh, we don't really need that yet. It's only 8%. want to purge my traders. Before anything bad happens. Oh, well, it's more so gonna do it. State the industrial reconstruction. Or start the industrial reconstruction, of course. I can talk, I can read, I can write, I can do stuff. Stop clicking on it. I keep clicking on research. And then it's like right next to it. That used to be where my research button was. I'm so used to clicking there. It hurts. Oh, it hurts. Nineteen days and you're... Twelve days away. No, let's speed this up. We don't need to be going slow, we're not in a war. Presumably nobody's gearing up in a war against me. Hello, Greater Scythia. Seems like a nice big juicy target. That's done, and now we gotta crack down on all these traders. 
Let's do the purge first. Over here. How did I go? I'm a tree expert. Good stuff. Oh, we're an infantry expert now. Great. Why did you guys have? Why did you guys have these things before? All right. Well, tree expert again. I wish they had those things before during the war. Apparently they didn't. It's very annoying. Machine parts, fantastic. Can't do that. Construction speed, I guess. Urging, tree turns. The Austrian Reich declared war on the Czechoslovakian Kingdom. What a shame. Unsurprising, but what a shame. They are a Reich after all. I should research tanks. But I can't build any tanks, so... <laughs> it's almost no point. At this very moment, there's very little point. Because uh, I don't have... Oh, there we go. We're starting to build. We're starting to build something. We got to get more guns. I do need to get a better tank, though. The light tanks are just better. Than the Great War tank that I'm producing. It's so garbage. At the same token, I need guns. Damn it! The intelligence agency go away. <laughs> Don't give your troops guns and make tanks. I'm a fan of troops. Oh, the one OT. Too many tanks and not enough troops. Makes your lines very empty. Ah, the final crackdown. This is way too long for me to read. Uh, radical element to help. Only got mid can handle the successful purse. Second ultimatum. Why would I want a second ultimatum? We are a despotic. I don't want to be a despot. thinking I'd rather just do a successful purge. Okay, maybe I have to read this. Uh, well, purge on paper seems... I'm just gonna skip the first entire thing. Uh, it seems an easy task to accomplish in reality. Many of the socialists are spreading out in several of them on the ground, making a purge with current resources a strain on the government. Many of the government are certain that the government Really? Any of the government are certain that the government will be able to handle the crisis. Others aren't as certain as you said to help deal with the Soviet vermin we recruit the recruit the help or more radical elements of society. It's a bad sentence. So what comes in the form of the Union of Young Russian Russia, also known as the Union of Whatever or Whatever. Uh, a party which in exposes the return of the monarchy that uh, no we don't want the monarchy coming back let's the government can handle this our current government is good enough i want to control literally industrialize a little bit more early mobilization mobilize does that mean i can build stuff I'm finally building some stuff and the purge is successful, they can all calm down. That means uh, daily political power minus 50. Oh, that's awful. Oh, it's just for 30, 365 days. Still, that is awful. White wing authoritarian plus 0 0.02, daily despot plus 0 0.02, reactionary minus, and 
cares about the other stuff. That is awful. I'm losing political power because of that stupid thing. That is awful. Horrendous. It's nasty. Special regulation on foreign agents. That's a good idea. Oath of loyalty. That's also a good idea. Uh, plus, if I try building tanks, it's going to take a very long time for me to get to the um, 1.2 million mark that I need. Because tanks don't use as uh, I wouldn't say they don't use as much troops, but they do take longer to build. And get recruited. And built. Okay, I don't think they consume as much manpower either. So it would take a lot longer to build them. Both of loyalty done. Order restored. Fantastic. There's order in this Russia. Let's order through an iron fist of me. Of the defense. Uh, I do need to actually get the tanks though. Because currently the current tank is just garbage. So like it or not, I do have to do some research on it. Well, that means I'm not doing my land reform. Which is bad. Very bad. Dispersed industry. Disperse it some more. Ah, uh, there you go. Production cap keeps going up, I love it. We're gonna produce some good stuff sometime. Water is restored. And the winds of change. Economy is rebuilt, the public order is restored, our enemies are defeated, and our people accept our role. It's time to return to the normal order of business. Which is conquering stuff. Which I currently cannot do. Because I don't have enough troops. I need 1.2. I need to double the amount of troops that I have right now. Uh, winds of change. Oh, changes the national focus tree. Okay. Okay. So that kind of stayed the same. Yeah, this stayed the same. But we added this tree here. Interesting. The reign of Kokach. of Kokach and National Assembly. Oh, do, can I start doing these other things? I can. But is it what I need? That's all Air Force. Is this all Navy? That's all Navy. I don't care about that. Army is important. Hmm. I think we'll wait a little bit for those. Let's go through the National Assembly. Stable political system. Okay, we still gotta work on that. That's fine. Oh, actually, that's what we're doing right now. We're gonna remove the unstable political system and we gain national spirit, national assembly, which is more political power and stability. For now, we called Soviet culture. Well, are you kidding me? <laughs> the desperate party will now be called the Soviet culture. <laughs> that's what we're gonna call it. Didn't have a name. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. That god awful thing. Uh, but at least we'll get rid of this. Which means we'll actually gain some political power soon. Yeah, we'll actually start gaining some stuff. We'll stop losing and we'll start gaining. It's great. It's a double hit. Mr. Blind Blitz, always good to see you. We'll see you soon. Have a good night. Have a good rest of your night. Damn it, I opened up this thing. Have a good rest of your night, Mr. Blitz. National Assembly. Engine for life. Hmm. Oh, Imperial Puppet. Oh, what's the... What's the difference of these? Hmm. 
Okay. So the Imperial Puppet gains national focus, return of the Emperor. Oh, which means we get a monarch. That's not cool. Not bad, though. Oh, Regent for life. Seeing political power, change in the popularity of despotism. Minus five, that's not good. Does that do anything negative? No, it doesn't. Uh, expand whatever that word is. Akran, 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 Akrana. Great. Which grants consumer goods minus 5%, stability minus 5%. Uh, expand this, we get replace the empty throne with a new sovereign. Huh. Okay, division recovery and offensive war penalty stabilized. And this thing, replace the new sovereign with the Supreme Leader Cult. Gives you more political power and stability. So interestingly, this one gives you division stuff. And drift defenses. Hmm. I mean, that is interesting to see. So it's counter reforms. SGOR and near the SGOR becomes the ruling party. Wow, this is brutal. I mean this this is a lot of decisions. Neo Staffia. Oh, that's some education stuff. Finally. you research as well. So I guess this is the nationalist way. National populism. Uh, collapse of the coalition. Why would that give you Change of popularity of Despot goes up, and then change of popularity of Liberalism goes up. Because you Despot, and that does not give you Liberal. Whoops. Well, this is a uh, very... Very trippy to see. So the... What was the name of the party? SGOR. Either way, the SGOR exists. SGOR is the... What's the same thing? Everything authoritarian or desperate. Despot. Uh... It's kind of suck. Defensive war penalty for stability modifier plus fifty percent. Okay, well, that's kind of nice. Getting claim on Crimea and all that other stuff. Interesting. Oh, that's all the stuff I just conquered. Okay. Uh, someone who reigns but doesn't rule. I mean, this is kind of interesting as well. Here's Stern Empire, we have finally 
Secured our dominion. We should allow the rightful monarchs to return. Of course, we must issue the monarch's view of the same as our nations. Hmm. I mean, it comes with a lot of benefits. And this one is, despite the mining clanning from the monarchists, we have no need for their petty kings. After all, our supreme leader fought bravely for our nation. The impotent Romanovs fled in shame. We have no need for those fools. I kind of agree. Those are big choices. But you lose a lot of stability. Gain base stability minus 10%. That hits you with a negative for factories. Like, this is, um, this is not a good choice. Like, I want to go this route. I don't want the monarchists. But I'm stuck with them. Because that's the only good choice. Like, there's so many benefits to doing this and so many negatives for doing this. That makes no sense. That's not a choice. That's like, oh, do you want to go really, really negative? Or do you want to go really positive? It's no good. Want to have a bunch of penalties or a bunch of benefits? That's unfortunate. Guess we're going with the Imperial Puppets. Because the game really doesn't give us a choice. Well, he says Mon doesn't. Not a good choice, at least. In our trade, we need to get some rubber from Indochina, I guess? Sure, why not? Five blocks unlocked. Okay. Interesting. I hit it again. I hate that damn intelligence. Here we puppets with a new Russian monarch. So we got a grand duke. Or whatever. See, leader becomes leader of those two parties. All right, well, that's really my choices here. Time has finally come to further make a throne. After more than 15 years of the Russian Empire, shall have an emperor again. The only thing left to decide is who shall take their place on it. There are four individuals the, of royal lineage that the uh, Zemet Sober has nearly narrowed down the choice, nailed the choice down to. First is Prince Vava something, uh, Romanov, godson and cousin to late Caesar Nicholas II. Then there's Prince Andriel Alexandrov Romanov, cousin of the late Alexander II, or Alexei II. The other two candidates are not Romanovs at all. In fact, they are Mokovics, uh, seen fit to allow Russia the option to leave the name Romanov behind and choose among the other royal nobles of the empire. Princess Sergei, Prince? Princes, Sergei, whatever, Balansky, and Alexander Olbanaka, whatever, uh, represented our traitors to Romanovs and the heartache that comes with memories of the Civil War. Hmm. So the Grand Duke. Who's Romanov? Prince of whatever this guy is, who's also Romanov. Then you have uh, Belensky here and Oblensky, who are not Romanovs. I like the name Grand Duke though. Godson and cousin to Nicholas II. It's a Grand Duke. And then you have Princes. Hmm. 
I don't know, is there really a difference? Let's go with Sergei. I know not. Let's Sergei the first. He's gonna be a leader. Take him to no more, but he learns a meme. And... I can go straight into that. Revise internal policy. Council of the Supreme Ruler. Sovereign, who reigns but doesn't rule. Of course. We did this for the benefits, we also got the benefits. Actually, has Spain. Uh, that's wrong. Oh, look at that face mask. I like that. That is different. Uh, so the MR is in charge, which is the accelerator interests. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I don't actually know what that is, to be honest. Kind of not that cool to know what that is. And negotiate licenses. I don't know, there's nothing good there. What are we doing for troops? Low manpower. Can you give me this low manpower thing? I don't know what you're talking about. Sovereign who doesn't rule is done. Extra focus. Let's go with the uh, council. Supreme ruler, of course. And we can also change this again. I can't do war economy. Not enough support. An extensive conscription. Does lead to a higher training time, but a lot more recruits. Oh, I can't do that because not enough horse support. I export focus or limited exports. <laughs> I think we leave that alone for now. I guess we just leave this alone. Hello, foreign ministry. I'll probably do some of these things. Political power gain goes down. That's awful. And you guys are awful. What about the economy? Oh, at least this one gives you daily political power and construction speed. I'll take that. He's the least of the worst. Uh, this guy over here. Can't choose that guy. Stability, root out mission efficiency. Bad. Can't choose that guy, can't choose that guy. Wait, why can't I choose that guy? Current ruling party is despot. It is. Isn't it? It sort of is. Eh. Uh, crime fighter. Daily political power. Coup of population goes down, though. Yes, we'll do this. It's the only one. Leader of the people. They got a new tank. Keep upgrading my tanks. Okay, we need to stop building these. At least so many of them. Now just build all of these guys as quickly as possible. Oh, he was only building one. My bad. Don't need so many of these. Get those cleared out. Updated equipment. Oh yeah, it was that stupid submarine. Awful. Horrendous. This. Dastic. Ooh. More research. Alright, Council of the Supreme Ruler. Need you to hurry up. Mm, 40 days. How are these things coming along now? Still need more weapons. But we're getting there. Council of the Supreme Ruler is done. Illusion of legitimacy. Of course. We don't want the guy to feel like he has power, but know that he has none. Uh, 
Someone's gonna finish around the same time. Okay. That's fine. Oh yeah, production. Not production, recruitment. That's what I wanted to look at last time. Alright, we are recruiting some stuff. Let's uh, fix this division. Nope, not that one. Still not that one. Uh, the this guy. No more cavalry. No more damn cavalry. You deserve only motorized infantry. I'll actually give you a motorized artillery as well, because that looks cool. Logistics, field hospital, support artillery, engineer, and a motorized recon unit. All in your future. Congratulations. Uh, these guys, you are going to become a reserve unit. Don't even need these. You don't need so much. Your reserve unit. Uh, engineering and field hospital, you need logistics, you don't you do need the police which I don't have yet that's okay there you go a nice little fancy tower as your thing all right these units I need to find anyone that has that stupid single symbol I should say there's a bunch of them you're gonna be regular units now there's a couple. You can be regular units now. Uh, and there's probably the last one. I'm pretty sure that was the last one. Yeah, it was. Great. So now we can get rid of that stupid thing. This template. Field hospital. Engineer. Um, and... Wasn't logistics. You're missing something. What am I missing? Maybe it is logistics. Eh, we'll go with logistics for now. Right. And these cavalry units. I don't really want cavalry units. Let's motorize them. Let's make them more modern. Out, put it into a new thing. Uh, you look like a nobody. Congratulations. Put you into some army group that also has some nobody leader. Let's say kill oh, that dude. Looks good. You're the defensive army. Congratulations. I need you to garrison that. <laughs> that is all. There's only three of them, right? I'm pretty sure there's only three. Let's grab a couple, three of your infantry and transfer them over. So it's all kinds of 15-ish going on there. Get rid of that cow unit. And the tank. A beautiful tank unit. Armored Recon, Field Hospital, actually, you know what, do the Motorized, Motorized Recon, Logistics, Support, Engineering, Save, Done, Build some more. Let's make you have 6 units, bring you up to 12, and you're going to be up to 24. Here we go, 1.17 million in the construction queue, or being trained. Total, I suppose. Whatever. Need more military factories. Illusion of legitimacy, of course. Good stuff. More military.
That should be good. And what was it doing? The national focus. Need to be updated. So that's what we're done. Revise the internal policy. Hopefully we can get this done soon. Oh no, we're still going to be under. No, total manpower 1.8. So we're getting close. We're going to be close. One point two in the field. Oh, that's just for the army. I guess it's the same. Because Navy and Air Force doesn't really have a lot of manpower to it. Oh, political power minus uh, 100. Um, is there anything I can spend my political power on before that switches over, I guess? God, it's awful, but the decryption is good. There you go. Oh, it actually goes into the negative. I thought it just goes to zero. My bad. Not about that. That's my bad. I don't know the difference. Liberalization for prosperity or whatever this is. So not entirely sure. Notarization of the nation. is awful. Black Terror. Minus 15 stability. Daily Vanguard. Oh, it does get rid of all the uh, support for the other people. Okay, lose all that stability. We can go that way, we can go that way. A uh, new Russian army. I think we should probably do some of this stuff. Although it doesn't seem to help that much. Crudable population 10%. Oh yeah, you know what? That. It's a good place to start. Let's do that. New Russian army. Definitely took a lot longer than I had hoped. I keep pushing it. Total map power 1.88. I need 1.2. We are close. Gonna take a little while. We can start retaking all of our stuff. We'll take Siberia, ultimatum to southeast. We'll take states. I guess we go southeast, which would be this guy. He just changed his name to Scythia, but that is who we're going to go for first. He's the biggest. Probably has the most resources as well. Oh, um... 
Sorry, one of you is actually going to have to go through here. To, you know, attack him from below. Well, the other three attack from high. That is the general plan. Let's see. This thing... Where was I? Up here. Oh, you need all three of these? Damn it. Oh, they take 49 days. Well, that's great. That's gonna take a damn long time. Hmm, ahead of tech. Ahead of time. That's all ahead of time ponies as well. Oh, I need MPs. I get them later. I get the weapons. slowly grows. At this rate, it'll only take, I don't know, 10 months, 20 months? 10 months? 10 months. No, longer than that. No, oh, 10 months. I, I think it's 10 months. Damn it! Stupid intelligence. Oh, this flag is like a video flag. I don't like that. That's why we're probably getting so much lag. Yeah, it's doing it for everyone. It's a little video clip that's gonna slow down the entire game. That's why it's a little bit weird. What a lesson I've learned. Ooh, I'm gonna have to deal with the successful coup. That's good. Oh, that is a big negative thing. Yeah, you know what? It is a good thing that I'm doing this. Our control system. Let's keep on working on those. Regimental support. Now let's get the infantry. Oh, this adds 2k the infantry equipment. Oh, that's nice. Would be nice to have had that earlier. What are we doing for infantry equipment? Oh, we're still in the dark. Still in the dark there. But you know what? I think we can do with just 20. Russia celebrates victory day. Long live a glorious Russia. Indeed. That lets. Get some more of these going, and we're gonna need some more tanks. The gun should be good for now. It should be good for a while. Technology, let's keep on. Should do some land doctrine. The integrated support for my artillery. is going 1.19 million we're getting there five more months we should be okay with two 1.9 no wait i need more than 1.9 what do i need two million crap what's the number i needed i need 1.2 and we have oh yeah 1.2 almost 1.2 We're getting there. Just need to deploy a bunch of troops. What are they doing in terms of getting close to deployment? What are you waiting on? You're waiting on... Uh, motorized. You're waiting on cars. Great. That's great.
doing chest fading on that. And we only produce five a day. A little bit low. Ooh. Let's get that done. It's a little bit ahead of time, but that's okay. Just a few days. Bit too much. Bit too much. Ordinance updates. Come on. Be more research. So you guys can start planning your war. That's a good idea. You can plan your little attack right here. Damn it, intelligent agency. You have to be in my way. Right, got a bunch of manufacturing. Oh, no. Oh, theorist, okay. Uh, manufacturers, I should say. Got a bunch of air support stuff, chief of army. Anything good. I probably should have gotten the Chief Army earlier. Division attack, division attack, attrition, zone point speed, division defense. It's not bad. Consumption and defense. You I can't get. You I can't get. Well, you two don't matter. So really, it's a chance of just two things. Although I want that. Markov's plan. Where's Markov's plan? Markov, where is your plan? It's over here. Superior firepower. Yeah, you know what? Markov is the guy that we want to go with. So maybe I'll hold off on Markov. I'm not picking anyone for the Chief of Army. Chief of Staff. On the other hand. Uh, that is interesting. I like the school maneuverability. Division speed plus 10%. Armor division attack and defense plus 10%. Mortarized staff attack and mechanized staff attack also goes up. That's uh, some good benefits to have. So definitely like that. And you. You, we are gonna fix this thing. Effective change recruit population. So that actually doesn't make it go away, it just fixes it. Mostly. I think this is it by like 50%. No, actually it says replace it. Oh, it just changes the name to recovering. And then it just changes that stuff by like half. It's a half the penalty of what it was before. How do I get rid of it? Don't tell me I have to go all the way down there. Of course. Of course you do. You have to pick a plan and you gotta go all the way down that plan to get to it. How awful. Alright, we're not gonna wait for all that stuff. Let's uh, deploy these divisions. At least these ones. Alright, you know what? I can deploy these ones as well. What about the tanks? And not deploy the tanks, apparently. Because I don't have a place set for them. Kukov seems like a good place to have tanks. Let's deploy them. Alright, for the infantry, take half. Make a new troop. Catch it on. Uh, also deploy it to this front. And give them a leader. Like, this dude is a infantry officer already. 
Seems nice. Can't do anything, but okay. And then what we got? We've got four mechano. So first of all, we have four mechanical. We have two, so we gotta add a couple to you. It's also got a tank, which nobody else has. You just have one mechanical unit. means everybody else is going to get one extra otherwise troop stay there you stay there you go there there you go Our tanks so far only one of them has a tank ah, which is this guy you have a tank nobody else has tanks all right more than that I right, just have seven okay well that's gonna be an uneven number Two of you, gonna go to him. Uh, one of you will go to him. Which means one for you. One for you. And one for you. And then we have 12 extra infantry. Which means basically two for each of you. Two for you. Whoops, uh, too many. Two for you. Two for you, and two for you. And you're the only one that's below the 20 mark. So there you go, you can have an extra. And you should have 21 as well. 21, 21, 20, 20, 20. There you go. Deploy. And what are we looking at? Still can't do that unify thing. No, more than 80 divisions though. 1.2 million manpower in the field. And we have 1.19. Research done. Let's get... Should I go ahead of time? Let's go ahead of time and get that. Seems like a smart decision, right? Let me get that gun. The tank, we got upgraded again. Yeah, so much stuff we still have to reinforce. That's okay, we're gonna cream this guy. Take all his stuff. If I can get that 1.2. Mark in the field, that is. Uh, this should actually help. Yeah, this will help with the manpower issue. So we're currently sitting at 2.32 recruitment every turn, or every month, I should say. I can use reunification, no care. 2.3 a month. Almost in at 1.2 million. But they're not all deployed, that's the problem. Or are they? Nope. Actually, it is 1.2. Uh, one must be true. Oh, we have to pick the counter reform. Okay, so I have to pick one of you. I'm gonna pick you. I don't like this focus tree. Not a fan. Not a fan at all of this focus tree. Alright, that's done. And now we can do Unify the Empire. After 35 days, oh god. What is all this unable to do things business? I just invalidated a bunch of stuff, but I don't know what I invalidated. Oh, that's probably not important. 
Must be like hidden tree things. I think there's a bunch of hidden trees that we can't see right now. I just invalidated a bunch of them. Maybe. I don't know. Integrated support is done. Let's keep researching. More combat teams, decisions available, if necessary. Oh, planes. Um, let's get you guys down here. I need to split this unit. Split, reorganize it. Usually I just do 200s because the bases have even numbers. So it's easier to count when all of your divisions have even numbers as well. The game, of course, does not play that way, but I do. Okay. Now we have a bit of a problem in that we have no air bases up here. Oh, maybe there's one. There's one little air base. You can go there. You guys are gonna go down here with them. I'm gonna send a couple of you fighters there and one fighter there. gonna go here and the rest. Oh did I send I have two tactical bombers? Oh I do. Interesting. Um Okay, one of you go here instead. And tactically bomb that. One of you is gonna fight there. One of you is actually gonna come up here and fight oh apparently not in the rest. Why can't you fight over there? The other guy can fight over there. Oh, the other guy can't fight over there. Oh, that's not good. I'll move you there. Oh, still can't fight there. Hmm. Well, that's bad. Alright, well, the rest of you are gonna fight there. really bad. I only have one fighter base that's going to be able to fight into that. Do I have nothing really around here either? Yeah, of course not. So why would I make it easy for myself to go and conquer those other places? Let's, um, put a base there a little bit higher up. Why can't I build so far away? Oh! And this guy's still my puppet? Okay. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how he became my puppet again. Um... Great, I guess. Good for him, I guess. Yeah. Um. Hmm. All right. Well, we do want to make him more of my puppet. So I guess if I build air bases in his territory, that's probably a good thing for me. Government, chief of staff, I still can't do. Um, infantry equipment, soft attack, breakthrough, hot attack. Ooh, soft attack, hot attack, breakthrough, defense, and reliability. That is like all around good thing. Right there, let's go with that. Yeah, my manpower is really low in some of these units. 
Not sure why they're so low still. Unify the Empire, let us do an ultimatum on the east. Takes 35 days, though. Kinda wanna go after these things first. That takes 70 days. Alright, well, let's just go for uh, the southeast first. Probably not gonna like it, but who cares? Uh, yes, we're Scythian, yes, we're Asians. Really? Oh, they're working their way down that tree. Well, hello. Oh, they do gain a thing to conquer all of Russia. That's nice. It looks a little crazy, but okay. What kind of plane do I have the mass storage of? It's just the fighters. If I have so many fighters, why are you not reinforcing? Because you have no manpower. Of course. Makes complete sense. No manpower, no fighters. Gotcha. Alright, and now... Can actually get some fighters down there. Now uh, let's deploy from here. The fighter wing can go there, deploy into there. Ultimate them to the south. Of course they're gonna refuse. It's okay. They're easy enough to conquer. Yeah, let's go with the proven strategies or should I actually grab that research slot? I think I should go for that. Go for that research spot. Uh, is this going to do anything? Excuse me, a mogul. Okay. Apparently he refused. Which I'm assuming is why I got the goal. And we're going to take advantage of that right away. He does not have enough troops to stop us in any way, shape, or form, which is pretty amusing. I am, however, taking some mean attrition on here. So I'm very mean attrition. I'm assuming because of supply issue, and I would probably be assuming correctly in that. But it seems, I don't know, it seems to not be resolving. Uh, let's go with, I need you guys to attack fast. And actually, battle plan, aggressive. I need you guys to be really aggressive down here. They could go take that kind of aggressive. It's found the enemy. Sure he doesn't get to escape ever. That kind of aggressive. In fact, based on what they have, I would say everything should be set for aggressive in this case. Because it doesn't seem like they have enough to really stop us, so it's good just to finish it as soon as possible. Before we can gather anything might possibly resist us in any way, shape, or form. Okay. 
get this plan gone and set up the new offensive line going straight across. There we go. It's a good aggressive push. Three military factories. Ooh. Must have gained some military factories from some of these guys. Let's build more stuff. Take these points. The sooner you take all these uh, big places, the better. There we go, we are definitely hitting all the good spots. Quickly and easily. Take all the land. Apparently, I can't take all the land. Take most of the land. End one turn, do a pass, then take all the rest. There you go. Done. Scythia next. Uh, who do we want to go after next? That was easier than I thought it was going to be. Uh, Baltic States. Or Siberia. I should probably retake Siberia. Oh, he's already my puppet. Let's go take the Baltic States next. We take our stuff over here. Uh, is he going to be part of that? I don't think so. I don't think he's part of that. Finnish Socialist Republic. Awful. You, sir, are a disgrace and we need to conquer you. Oh, Lithuania is gonna be allied with these guys. Okay. Oh, pressure's on its own. That's nice. A little bit of a military alliance that I'm gonna have to deal with there. No big deal. Hopefully no big deal. Uh, let's see, take you, get you over here. Actually no, you should be a part of that line. You should be here because you're bigger. And you should be here because you're bigger. You're an offensive push there. And an offensive push here. And you guys will have your offensive push going against him if they decide to fight us. And Air Force, of course. Never forget the Air Force. Needs to be the fighters need to be close. Yeah, one of the bomber units to be from Petro Gladens, which apparently is too far away. Alright, there you go, Baltic States. Oh no, that was a fighter unit. Sydney me. You're the bomber unit. You go to Petro Glad. You're gonna bomb right from there. This fighter can go to Belarus from there. 
And you two fighter bombers are gonna go from there to Minsk. Actually, we'll grab the bomber and we'll send them back here. Still gonna fight the same face, but you know. Defend our southern flanks, there you go. Oh, actually, there's another port there. We have to build some more of those troops as well. Uh, Putin, living conditions of the people. How nice of us. Let's go take back the Baltic states. It's going to give us all of them, right? Yes, it does. Does it give us you? Mm, no, it doesn't. At the same token, I think by the time we go to war with these three, this guy is allied with these two. So we're definitely going to get stuck in a war, and we're going to get stuck next to Germany, which is not so good. Yeah, that's not going to be good at all. How many troops do you have? I mean, Intel Zero. It's great. But presumably, he has somewhere between 41 and 49 factories. And they are producing a lot of junk. So, being next to him is not going to be a good thing, but it's what we're going to do. Although, I wonder if this unpods is. There you go. Uh, is he ever gonna go take out Poland? He probably would eventually go take on Poland, right? Yeah, probably. Hmm. Alright, well, it's fine. We might not have to deal with him. Or we might have to deal with him early, which would be unfortunate. Because I am not prepared. Definitely not prepared. Oh, I can create an agency now. Uh, what do we want to create? What kind of look do we want? We want this. The SGRS. Which does not match with the name. Let's create it anyways. It's going to take 30 days, but that's okay. We need to get our spy agency going. That's my subject. Okay, he's going down a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, inventory equipment. Very nice. Oh, it's the one who pushed ahead of time. I forgot about that. Research politics. Oh, let's get the setting up again. Since we're not at war. them. Let's go over here. Actually, you know what? I don't need that thing. Damn it, we need so much. Let's get that research spot. 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 <laughs> uh, let's get the research spot built. Interesting. Yeah, let's get that going. Gonna lead to a big war soon.
Come on, give me my justifications. Or, you know, surrender to me, one of the two. This is unpaused, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Why are we not getting our justifications? Did I pick the wrong Voltex? <laughs> Um, any time now, they're either going to surrender or... Agency created, fantastic. Recruiting operatives, well, 20 days, hmm. Come a spy master, what's that? I need to have an agency with three different branches, upgrades to become a spy master. Uh, you need to be a faction to become a spy master as well. Hmm. Will control more operatives where the amount depends on the size of your faction. There can only be one spy master per faction, and your faction already has a spy master. No, we don't. <laughs> oh, agency upgrades, okay. So agency upgrades we just kinda do any time. Time intelligence. This more ink, portable radios. Oh, well, these are kind of interesting. I want army intelligence to be a little bit better. Yeah, we definitely want some better army intelligence against our enemies. Uh, by the way, have I gotten my claims yet? I have claims on them. Why can I not declare war? Like, there's my claim. Why am I not getting my war justification against them? This is very annoying. Hmm. This is very, very annoying. Uh, maybe the end of the month will let me do this. Nope, still can't do it. Oh, we take cores. Oh! Because you're a dick. Yeah, I have to do it this way. Oh, do I not have cores on his thing? Oh, I didn't get cores on his stuff. Well, that's odd. Okay. Apparently I don't get cores on the Thurania. Uh, National Focus, don't need that. Although it is good to have. Uh, what else? Subjugate these guys, of course. Finland needs to be brought to heal before he actually allies with Germany or something like that. And with my new tech point. I don't know what I'm going to invest in. <laughs> going to invest in something. Uh, new artillery, here we go. That brand new Wicked Cool Awesome Artillery is going to be our next, next investment. Uh, you guys might as well go join this. You might as well go join him. And all y'all got to push right through. Afterwards, we're going to subjugate Finland. Go. 
combat team, excellent. Keep on researching that. And an operative is available. Tough and well groomed, and you are a safe cracker. Interesting. Sure, we'll get that guy recruited. Control trade, root out resistance, build intel network, counterintelligence. Interesting. I click to start the mission in our home country. Um, did that work? I think that worked. Maybe it didn't work. No, it's a uh, click. Uh, yeah, it shows up counterintelligence. Okay. I hope that's working. I just have enough space for one operative. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Army department has been built. And I guess if I do this, I'd actually get more. Enemy national recruit chance minus plus 25%. Occupational friendly national recruit chance plus 25%. I don't know what the difference is. Department, decryption power, cryptology level. Oh. It's kind of interesting. From that department. Soon they can only do one of you at a time, right? Yes, it's true. Only one at a time. That's okay. What I'm thinking is instead of having three armies down here, uh, let's cancel you. Cancel you thing. Let's get you up there, except for one army. It's gonna be here. work. Hmm, can you do a thing against him? Steep, secure ally. Make sure we started in 1923. Um, I don't know what these are. Oh, green Ukraine. Not sure state. So that's like a little bit of everything everywhere. It's that final one. Interesting. Alright, Finland, I don't like you. You don't like me. I'm gonna conquer you though. Hope you enjoy. And while we do that, we're gonna build that thing. And, yeah, he's not a part of any alliance. Let's just save. 
I haven't saved yet. Russia. Check save and declare war. You guys look like you're going to be successful. You don't really look like you're going to be successful. Uh, you know what would help is if I actually used my air force in this war. That would be great. Some air superiority. That might help. Are they all kicking butt? Uh, for some reason, you guys are all going to go there. Seems like a dumbass thing. How about one of you go up here? How about two of you go up there? One of you go there. What's that for an idea? Maybe, you know, spread out a little bit. Get the other artillery done. Rotated production. Oh yeah, my artillery. Literally just got it. I need to clear the one then. Why is it telling me I have a wall goal? When I already am using it. National state of Finland. Is there another Finland? No, it's just one Finland. I don't know what's going on with that thing. Uh, and we got a cipher. Department. No enemy ciphers being decrypted. Oh, isn't that nice? Yeah, we should go after Germans. Cypher, and learn more about them. And in the meantime, we'll upgrade something else. Let's go civilian intelligence. Learn more about those civvies. All their civilization stuff. Alright, he's moving some troops. Away from this front down here, which is gonna be good for me. Switch that. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Attack. What a fool. He gave up his defense. Actually, he really doesn't have much of a defense. We're just walking over him, no matter what. So that's nice. Oh yeah, I didn't send you guys too aggressive. No, you're aggressive. Uh, just, you're not set to aggressive. No, you're aggressively executing as well. Is everyone set to aggressive? Yes, they are. Okay, well. Mission accomplished then. Woody is aggressively pursuing a course of action. There's really nothing up here. We really just gotta conquer the stuff down here, and that's about it. And he will surrender. Keep on moving. You guys go that direction. Go take that thing out. I take those two, and I might not have to take that city, but. If we do, we will. You, we take my cores. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. And you start justifying, of course. Don't make your run up there.
the question becomes, do I actually puppet Finland? Or do I turn him into part of the Russian Empire? I think we should turn him into part of the Russian Empire. War economy, can't do that. Uh, let's do limited exports. Alright, well this is getting pretty good. Now I don't want to give him up. Because he's got so many factories in them. Alright, we'll see. We'll leave it. We'll leave it. We'll see you in a second. So the goal is to puppet. But I kind of want to just take them all. And not risk any socialist movement against us, of course. Yeah, let's take Finland. I get to keep the stuff. Uh, look at that. Two more factories. I like it. How's the research doing? Oh, I was not building another... I was researching another uh, thing. I guess I wasn't. That's okay. Did I ever research the police? No, I didn't. Alright, it's fine. We'll get it all built eventually. Agency upgraded. Fantastic. Let's get uh, Naval Air Force or Passive Defense. Let's go with Passive Defense. Get that counterintelligence always good. Source gain. And I should do that as well. Oh, I should definitely get that actually. That is almost right there, 1940. Okay, I don't know what the hell's going on with these guys, but that's kind of annoying that we're still fighting. I haven't even broken through yet. Uh, probably because my air force is not helping. Because I had sent them up the other place. Okay. Double the air force. Although we are hurting. We're definitely hurting in this battle. That's a year ahead. Uh, let's get the medium tanks going. There you go, there's a little push. It's a small push, but a little bit of push, nonetheless. And there's another one, excellent. Breaking through now. Now we're talking. And the defense has collapsed. Completely and utterly collapsed, which is perfect. Complete fail the defenses. And that should fall quite quickly. You over here. Oh, we're still waiting for you. Oh, we're done waiting for you. There you go. Take him on. Just gonna grab your army and get you to come down here. And assist with that push. Go. 
Joe, you shut up your bitch later. There you go. You take four states. Thank you. Minus 147 score. Okay, I don't know why that is like that, but okay. Great, got all that stuff back. And Mr. Blue can't advance. Not enough manpower equipment to fulfill garrisons, but that's not good. That does remind me though. We should have a big Ooh, operations should be high. Garrison needs to be higher. Keep the upgrades down. Look at that little back door entrance there. Isn't that fantastic? Never stood a chance. He stands a bit of a chance because apparently this thing hasn't surrendered. Oh, well, now he's not going to stand a chance. Come yeah, on. There you go. Is that fuel? Take my core lands. Passive defense from the agency is done. Oh, wonderful. Politics are once again ours. Once again ours, I should say. Limited conscription, and let's go with extensive. We're having some issues constantly with that. Our intelligence agency. What have we got? Can go with some defense or anti-partisan. Let's get that anti-partisan stuff up. All right, no national focus. Let's make a focus for our national focus. Let's see, that's Siberia. Orenburg, where is this? Orenburg People's Republic. Oh, it's them. Oh, that's great. Should totally go after them. And we're grab. Oh, passive defense, nice. Let's grab all of our troops where they are, if they go. Move them along Orenburg's defensive line. Blue, of course, we'll all head straight to there. Or Tio, I should say. And uh, everyone else can slowly move. Actually, under that line. This line go all the way up to here. We got some free docks. Isn't that nice? We can get rid of some of these things finally. And then. There's a lot of uh, stuff to be built. Too many different ships again. Let's see, this is expensive, that's expensive. Let's grab a convoy. Grab that expensive ship. It's a core cruiser. We'll grab that. Uh, improved light ship. Great war. It's a light ship again. That's all submarines. No destroyers? Alright, that's fine. That's cool. I'll uh, get the improved. This one seems to be more expensive. More expensive means better. Let's assume it means better. Convoys go at the bottom. I do need to get some garrison forces though. Oh, uh, we need more grupper as well. Uh, I 
guess we'll grab one from you. Hmm. Isn't that nice? We're building so much stuff. Still not enough, but we're building a lot. Trying at least. Oh, there's Grey Ukraine. Why is that up there? I didn't know Grey Ukraine was an ever a thing. Or name of anything. It's good to see. America collapses. This United States of America. It's good to see. Oh, that's very good to see. Oh, that is like an absolute mess. I love it. I love it. The rest of the world was falling apart. I always wondered what would happen. Why the United States didn't fall apart. But there it goes. Just absolute chaos. Death and destruction. I love it. That's what America should always be. Although the United Communes seems to be doing pretty good. The United States uh, Emergency Committee is also pretty strong as well. I think those are the two contenders. Maybe Texas. Probably not California. They don't seem to be doing good. State of Jefferson. Uh, Western Emergency Command. Interesting. Phoenix City Council. Gotta love it. New Mex Colorado Emergency Government. Interesting name again. Alright, what else do we got here? Coordinated Strike. Assets plus 20%. Okay, interesting. Plastic explosives, interrogation techniques, enemy operative capture chance plus 100%. Well, that some, seems like something we should have. Oh, I can get another operative. The more intelligence agency upgrades. Well, that's good news. It's just automatic. Or in Boer People's Republic. Disgusting. I must cleanse the lands of these filth and get uh, Malkov's plan. Yeah, Malkov's plan isn't bad. Plus one infrastructure. Uh, autonomy of front frontline commanders. Oh, that's not so bad. Artillery production cost and attack goes up. Well, that's really good. And we get Romano as a uh, person. And he's a very interesting person. He's a good leader. Um, so you guys apparently have no military. You have no military. Do you really have no military? Is that a thing? That is a thing. No, it's not a thing. You must have a military. And I just don't see it. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, well, it's not no longer has borders, so... We're just gonna go ahead and look towards the next person. Why are there so many, so many things I need to retake? Let's go towards Turkestan. There's not much of him left. You. Do I have to justify my goal? I do have to justify, don't I? Yep. Of course I have to justify retaking my own land. Bastards. <laughs> ah, bloody bloody bastards. 
I guess I didn't need to do this one then. That's okay. Oh, no, I got the more gold now. I didn't have to wait. Fantastic. Let's just get on in there. There's literally not a single troop in sight. Oh, no, there's one troop right there. That's it. One lonely troop in sight. And nobody else wants to fight us. That's great. Take his capital. You three get over here. And take that. You guys can take that over. And that's pretty much all of his... Oh, no, it's not. There's got a bunch of other stuff down there. Uh, let's see. Research. Ooh, mechanical units. Let's get that. The seven out of seventy-seven. Well, that's good news. That is very good news. Let's figure something out to do with all those factories. Get more of those. Get more tanks. Tanks for the tanks. And next time we'll get more guns. More of this and more of this. And then more of these. That is great. not have the troops to really defend against us which is fantastic this is gonna go very quickly I might even finish this before I get my next thing we call it the one-week war well the one-month war I should say a week it's obviously more than a week Damn, is it fast. Oh! Germany took over uh, Hungary. Or part of Hungary? No, they took over uh, Austria. The two of them. Just the next Austria somehow. The Austrian Reich. Which for some reason consisted of a lot of states. I don't know why. Uh, anyway, operative can be recruited. Oh yeah, not uh, that person. And what are we gonna do with you guys? Let's see, decryption power, decryption power, cipher level. Love this stuff. Uh, what else can we do? I guess you get that. And our other operative. Let's see, counterintelligence is good. You don't have counterintelligence. So yeah, you're doing counterintelligence. You should build a network. In Berlin, somewhere. Or even Frog. Go build a network and drug. Possibly go wrong. Nothing, of course. Nothing would ever go wrong there. Actually, what are you building? Oh, nothing else. Okay. Japan declared war on the Liberation Army? Wait, what? Oh, 
Oh, Enlightened Deliberation Front. Way down there. That's a weird place for Japan to be on, but okay. Good for them. And France sends arms, arms to uh, have Zach. Hmm. Base stability goes negative and change of popularity for some bad people. Some bad hombres. Going my land. Look like that. And took a stand. Ooh. Gonna be the one focused on that. Or not? Yes, you should. No, that's not Turkestan. You're Turkestan. Or no, you're not. What is going on? Go off the steeps. Where is... Is that something down here? No, it's not. Ah, we probably go to Turkestan. It's over there. Hmm. It's a bit of a pickle. That's gonna be against the gray Ukraine. This is all real fascinating, but completely very much annoying. Uh, I need to retake some of these things. And Turkey's in my way. And these guys are all in my way. Why is everyone in my way? Hmm. That's my question. Once I take these things, do I have nothing else? My goal is basically to reunite Russia. And I get nothing else around the world. Okay, well that's a crappy goal. That's a pretty crappy goal. Although maybe I get something after I reunite them. You never know. Anyway, this is where we're going to wrap up for this evening. I'd like to thank everybody who's watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you did, give a like, subscribe, follow the channel. Check me out on Discord, all that fun stuff. And uh, we shall see you next time. Have a good night.